Welcome everybody. I'll be talking about here one-handed fake multiplication technique using the very elegant technique described by Gustavo Malavazzi in 2011 for the JCRS. So basically I'm using a dispersive viscoelastic a little bit on top of the cornea so I don't have to constantly irrigate. We'll start here with a uh, rexus. I'm using a uh, direct cross capsule rexus from Duckworth and Kent, no financial interest here, but it's a great little device. Uh, we have a very good red reflex here, very good dilation, so the capsule rexus is pretty uneventful. I'll measure the rexus right now using the same device, about 5.5 millimeters, which is great. For hydrodissection, I elevate a little bit the anterior capsule, and that should allow for a good pathway for the BSS to go through, we see that the wave was without any problems. I also did hydrodelineation. Now here we go. Uh, Gustavo describes the center of the lens having sort of an opening, and we use that for the entrance of the viscoelastic. Look at how it separates in two nice halves, and therefore we can proceed straight to the fake emulsification. I really love pre-chopping. I think for soft nucleus, here it's a one grade, almost two grade nucleus. We're able to achieve the fracture and this helps a lot with a one-handed technique. So basically I'm using high vacuum, irrigation, low irrigation because we're using here the centurion. I'll rotate the second half and then we can see a nice grasp along with a fake ossification, fake ossification and aspiration. I like to leave that the nucleus, which I can aspirate. And we can see that there is very little cortex here towards the end. So I'll just leave this cortex that's under the incision to be aspirated with the irrigation aspiration cannula. So I'm using an irrigation aggregation from a Zico. I think it has a very good angle for aspirating underneath the incision. It's a 45 degree angle. And here we'll aspirate some of the cortex that was adhere adhered. It wasn't released with the hydrodissection. So we carefully aspirate this, but we can see that the chamber is pretty stable throughout the whole surgery. And here it's ready for insertion of the, of the ophthalmic visco device. Followed by insertion of a one-piece diffractive IOL. And successful, uneventful surgery. I think visco fracture is a very good alternative, very safe alternative, allowing for the surgery to be performed quickly, but most importantly, with a lot of safety. Thank you very much. See you next time.